Hey guys, I'm going to do a review for you today on the Karma Grip. So I bought this to go along with my GoPro. And I also bought the GoPro Remo voice activated button, which activates the GoPro. You can turn it on and off voice activated, different settings from picture to video. So this little button is great. So I'm going to turn this on for you, show you guys how it works. Okay. So this is great for doing videos. You can put this in any position you like. And you see, you move it around. It stays where it needs to stay. This is a great little device. I thought it would be great for videos and reviews and things like that. But it does have some divine flaws that I don't like. So I'll show those to you. The Karma Grip has a charging port right here, which is great. But you have to take this and the GoPro camera out, charge the GoPro camera separately, put it back in, charge this separately. It would be great if you could charge these both simultaneously. Um, the other design flaw I don't like is it has this little microphone here, as you can see, but it's muffled. So I can't just use this to make a video, hold it. You know, I thought it would be like an all-in-one. I would be able to take my videos, they'd be nice and still. Things would look great, but you can't hear me on this. And because I'm going to open it up and show you, because the ports are here and here, I can't use the external microphone with this as it needs to be plugged into here to work. So that's another flaw I don't like. So this button right here, the Remo, GoPro Remo, I thought would be great. Um, but I can't record with this. It's voice activated for the GoPro only. You know, and I thought maybe I could hook it onto my shirt and I would be able to talk to you guys, but that doesn't work either. So I'm kind of torn with this. Uh, I like it. It's a great device. It works fantastic, but it has those two flaws. So I can't charge this simultaneously. It can't hear me because it's muffled. And I thought this would work and it doesn't. So, um, overall, you know, I'm happy with it, but as you can see, I'm doing a review with the camera separately from this rather than doing the review on this because you can't hear me when I use just this alone. So, I like the stabilizer. I like the Karma Grip. I like the, I like the general overall idea of this, but it just has a couple of design flaws that I'm not particularly happy with. Um, I hope this video helps somebody in choosing whether or not they want to buy it. Thank you.